you want it to be both artist or like They're um, resin molds. Well, they're resin like sculptures made from a silicone mold. And it's this ongoing process where I, em well, I empty out my purse. So it's like all the trash that's in the bottom of my purse. Because over the years, I came to realize that I have like, I'm a very messy person and most women are very clean and organized and their purses like have all those like little pockets and they're organized and I always have like chocolate that melts under my digital <laughs> camera lens and it's kind of fascinating how these objects that I pull out of my purse and then I put in resin become like examples of the everyday and they're not just personal but then they become like you know they speak to like a larger uh, community of like all these shared things that we throw away and keep. So this is like the hair, my hair that I cut, and then there's some dandelion heads, which um, are all over the main campus on UCLA. Like so that's all like the Reese's pieces, and then those like those weird loan offers you get for like free money, but it's obviously a trap. You know, like junk mail. This one is my childhood teeth, which you can't tell, and then there's some like weird seed pods I collected on my friend's windshield. So it's like taking these things that are trash that we throw away and kind of putting it on a pedestal. These are actually astrological symbols for um, the setup I'm making. Um, it was actually though when I <laughs> was informed that Sailor Moon was being remade because I loved that <laughs> show as a kid. Um, but from there, I never really got into astrology. I went much more the science route, more secular interests. But in rewatching the show and like looking at, like even like, kind of just reflecting on what the show did for me and like kind of how to look at the world, how the personalities of the characters are pretty similar to the astrology things, and how even there it got me as a young kid thinking of personality, something that and and people, which really interests me. Start with these are dried out now, but coming up with the slab. Then you, I cut them out um, in little strips, and then from there start forming them in the different shapes. I actually have this stencil here too, to keep them nice and consistent in size. My gallery, I'm trying to set it up as kind of this pseudo-religious temple type of space that's kind of honoring <laughs> these different ways of, of looking at oneself in the world.